Obviously I had to catch up with an artist which I've been hearing some noise about So I'm out here today with episode 7 with YNGI Valenti You know how he's doing his thing So I'm gonna call this one Dream Chase I mean you can see he's shining <laughs> But yeah, when he obviously comes to his music He's taking time and effort to obviously build his own lane So yeah, let's get it Now these are the tax videos in which YNGI plays Again, the sound is newly coming out at this point So it's good to see how the sound, perception and versatility of his music has evolved so the genre is out putting in, on trap, drill, hip hop and R&B So let's take it to the studio I dim these lights, now I'm God's gifted Overseas, cod bike, I'm in the sand drifting I remember being on the block, I ain't have a change And why do I remember that it was the other day Look myself in the mirror and said, I'm gonna make a change I gave thanks to myself, I made it happen out of pain I've just stepped into the studio And these are the sounds which I'm first hearing White and GI, Blacks and Valenti are just out here Creating an anthem I'm in the middle of the dark But I'm lit on my diamonds Bitches say I'm rude Cause I'm blunt when I'm typing all throughout the day it seems like the boys were making content you see it seems like Valenti was recording a music video in the morning went to a podcast now in the studio again can't lie I rate the hard work Blow me a kiss, bitch. Mm -hmm. Ain't show no love when I ain't have a quit. All them sleepless nights turn from rags to riches. I don't need no drip just to fuck these bitches. I'm the sunshine mommy raised, but turn a villain. Still shining, even when the clouds are chilling. Yeah. Really love to hear. They're gone. Girl, slow down, bring your body to the owner. <sighs> It had been a busy day for the man, though. But of course, you know, I had to grab that interview with Ryan G. Avalenti. First and foremost, YNG at Valenti, fam. Oh, man, you're, 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 doing, you're doing your thing, fam. Like, nah, come on. Hey, thanks, thanks for, again, allowing me to come into your space today. Nah, for sure, bro. See, cool. see, you're, see you're cooking up something beautiful in the studio. Yeah, you know, I kind of have got bangers loading all year, my bro. Jeez. All types of content. That's what we love to hear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right, bro. Ah, right, first and foremost, yeah. Yeah. So what, what sort of genres would you say um, you're, you, you're kind of involved in? Okay, so you know what? I kind of like to see myself as like a versatile type of artist. Mm. I wouldn't like put myself to one specific genre, but mm. I definitely do like UK rap, yeah. um, R&B. Yeah. But like I do a bit of Afro beat slash Afro swing as well, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really limit myself. And at the same time, I can do like trap and drill. Yeah. That's actually what I started from, you know? Jeez. So just think that we're more um, versatile nowadays because I know like a lot of artists they kind of stick to one specific sound when they kind of go up. Mm. I don't really want to be like that, you know. I want to have fun with it because music's an art. Jeez! <laughs> I see you, you've got them polished answers, yeah? Come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got an A in English, bro. So Jeez. you know what I'm saying? I can, yeah. I can express myself, I ain't gonna lie. I read that. He comes across well. Jeez. He's articulate. Cool, cool. At the end of the day, now, he comes across as driven to me. Yeah, because I, obviously I've, I've seen a few guys obviously have that. Is, is yeah. that the name of the group or what, what does it actually stand for? So it's basically like a record label. Okay. It stands for like Young and Gifted Incorporated. Woo! Basically what our movement is, is that we're just basically trying to like show the younger generation that, you know, get some motion, you know, make your life better today mm. so that you can bet yourself tomorrow, you know what I mean? Jeez! Put a positive message out there, you know? It's cool to be yourself and work a normal job, you know what I'm saying? Just mm. as long as you're having fun with life, you're on some YNG ash. That's a very cold point you made in terms of the third gratification. Just knowing your actions today affect tomorrow. About you that many people or most people don't really know about yourself. No what? I actually box, you know, bro. Okay. Yeah, like I box. I've been boxing since I was like 14. Hey. Currently 24 now. Jeez. But um, I 
I'm really just trying to see that through, you know, I can see mm. like um, the whole YouTube creator box and stuff is going off. Mm. And I look at that like, come on, man, I would dominate that any day. Hey, that's big talk, but you never know what the future holds. I feel like I owe it to myself a bit to try and do something that's a bit out of the box, you know? Mm. I feel like anyone can kind of get on the microphone and put himself a, a rapper, but it takes a lot to actually, you know, put yourself a box or something. Myself that challenge this year for sure. Jeez, what any any plan of fights at the moment or, or still in training? Sh- sh- people they get inspired by someone or they're inspired by either a group or one song back in the day that made them, you know, want to become an artist. For sure, for so, sure. So for yourself, do you have any sort of inspirations which actually led you to, to the journey you're on? You know, I've got a couple of inspirations to be fair. Um well, like nowadays, I definitely look at like Meek Mill and Rick Ross as like mm. big inspirations. Jeez. Um, just because of the fact that obviously someone like Rick, Rick Ross lets you know that you know it's cool to make it a little later on in life. Mm. You know, mm. I, feel, I feel like someone like Gucci Man is definitely an inspiration as well. Not so much for the controversy, but just because of the fact that you know he reformed himself and. Mm. Well, like, that nigga's in the best shape of his life and he's like 40 something. That's an inspiration to me, man. I'm gonna lie. Jeez. <laughs> About like maybe people from the UK. Mm. I'd say some artists, some artists who inspire me. I'd probably say like Skepta, just because mm. that's my fellow Niger man. I don't want to talk about that. I'm definitely like Stormzy too. Mm. Gotta give a shout out to Rimsy as well, that's a big bro for real. Mm. And maybe like Dave, but he's around my age and you know, like a bit mm. older, but he's doing his thing. Okay. He inspires me quite, quite a lot, I ain't gonna lie. Right, at least you got some solid you got some solid people there from across the pond and there again from back home as well. For sure, for sure. I didn't even really I'm talking about skits, but even back home, I, I've got to give a shout out to Burner Boy, mm-hmm. Whisk Kid, and Aaron mm. Marley, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but that's me in terms of shout-outs for now. <laughs> <laughs> the man behind the music is becoming more apparent. Mm. He's an interesting character, to say the least. Listening to music, it takes you on a journey. And like, for yourself, what, what does actually music mean for you, innit? For me, I feel like music is like our art. Like, it's, mm. like, it's a way of expressing yourself, you know? If you're feeling like stress or something like that, you can listen to a certain, sh- a certain track, get yourself up in the gym, and that's mm. for me. I feel like, let's say for instance, I need a bit of, I need to gas myself up. It's like with like a gym session beforehand or something like that. I'm trying to raise my morale. I'm gonna play, um, I think the track's called I'm a Boss by Meet Me or Rick Ross. Mm-hmm. And I listen to that one full blast, listen, I'm on gold. <laughs> hey, <that. laughs> but at the same so time, bad, yeah. I can bump a young Summer Walker and mm. you know, get in my feels and a young Bryce and Tiller, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like when I need to put myself back down to earth a little bit, I listen to some R and B. So the new music is everything, you know. There's a question which a lot of us have been asked, which is, would you rather be blind hmm. or deaf? Hmm. I wonder what his answer would be. See yourself in like five years. In the next five years, I just want to be happier than I am today, man. I swear to God, happier than the year that I was at previously. Mm. Like I feel like in the next five years, I want to be married, hopefully with my first child. Mm. Maybe a couple kids if God wants to bless me like that. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully with a loaded bank account. You know, Amen. With the music taken off and me just helping, you know, like my friends, family, all my loved ones to get into like a better, better situation that they were in previously, you know? But like, that's what I'm all about, you know, just trying to see everyone get to that destination and you know, yeah. everyone happy and at peace with themselves. Okay, okay. Now nah, read that. And like... Yeah, that mark, but hopefully, even with this, in terms of this boxing, maybe you might just fuck around and fight for the World Championship one day, man. You never Jeez! Know. You never know. You yeah. never know indeed. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond, wow! For them, for them dark days, bro, literally. Them dark days. Cheese, you know? cheese. Uh, cool. And one, one thing, or, or in fact, what, what sort of advice would you give to someone trying to enter or at least become an artist like yourself? Okay, some advice I give them is um, patience times consistency, mm. deadliest combo. I thought I'd come to know about my life. Jeez. A word of advice, what my pops told me was just to calm down and keep it cool. I'm not going to lie, that was like the best piece of advice. One of the best pieces of advice he's ever given me. 
So I'm trying to get into music, I'd say, you know, first of all, build like a hometown buzz, you know, release, mm. release, release, keep yourself active in the studio, shoot videos back to back and mm. just share it out to all your people. You never know what could happen, I ain't gonna lie. Wow. I feel like in this day and age, um, talent is very much overlooked mm. I mean, in exchange of clout. But there's mm. still a couple of real ones left and I'm not gonna lie, I recognize them. Yeah, man, if you've got a talent, just follow it through. Believe me, one day it will work out. Seriously. Try. You know, you're, you're really, you've really been dropping gems, bro. I can't lie, fam. Oh, Making me smart, fab like a fab. Like. <laughs> man, I, I just hope that, you know, you're at least picking up a one, two. I'm not just chatting rubbish, saying, ah, money and mm. ah, girls, all of that BS. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, you know what I'm saying? Jeez. Not to say that raw, like we can't have fun with the bread and the females, but mm. come on, there's a time and place for everything. Right now, I'm just trying to inspire the younger generation to focus because we're on goal mode right now. We're working, you get me? With the time for enjoyment and that, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> <laughs> no good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Even if it sounds good, everything ain't what it seems. I've been working on myself, I don't owe no one apology. I passed on my growth. Back in the studio, and you know he was working on a little sign. So yeah, come and take a look at some unreleased music. Yeah, yeah. Right. She's just a girl. She wants to find things in life. Yeah. She wants to find the things in life. Uh -huh. I miss to make it happen. She ain't got to ask twice. Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. uh, one more time. Please, bro. Up time for the up, up time for the lobster. Up time for the lobster, not the rice. Prada, Chanel, or Louis roll the dice. She's just a girl. She wants to find the things in life. I miss to make it happen. She ain't got to ask twice. Up time for the lobster, not the rice. Prada. Come on, only be right to show you the final products or what this track was signing like. She's just a girl, she wants to find the things in life uh -huh. I miss to make it happen, she ain't got to ask twice, uh -huh. twice. Spending money like he just did a house Until I gamble on myself every time roll the dice Slim waist, you know she's built like Kim My spirit's been woke, so naturally I'm him mm -hmm. I care for her soul, so I take her to the gym I can get used to this life, I ain't been broke in a minute Trips to the back, uptown for some dinner Back then I did the most for a figure